Hello and welcome to a new rapid game here on Leeches. Looking forward to a new game and D4 is played. So I'm experimenting with the Dutch at the moment. So let's play the Dutch. Um, I have to explain uh, a little bit um, how this game um, came, uh, came into play. Um, here my opponent Corp Morp has challenged me. So he's a viewer of my channel and uh, wanted to play and why not okay it's a bit of a rating disparity but um, i like to take those challenges and give viewers a chance to play this is one advantage of a free platform here so we get the uh, leningrad dutch and let's see what corb morb is doing Yeah, okay, at least here I know d6. Knight c3 is most common. And then I'm already a bit stuck because, well, when I when I looked at this opening a long time ago, I played queen e8, and this is still one of the main lines. But I know that some top players, in particular Nakamura, played c6 a lot. I think one reason is that after c6, d5, there is e5, which is, I think, quite okay for black. There are some transpositions, though. One point is also after queen e8, I think rook e1 is a move, and then some gambit stuff. I think I go c6. I mean, I don't know much more anyway <laughs> after that um so what does y do now d5 is definitely an option then e5 is my move so after d5 i play e5 then white will take en passant and then i don't know you take immediately or sometimes black delays this but i think you take immediately yeah that, that's okay um i remember a game kromnik nakamura where kromnik played rook b1 i think is that the case i think rook b1 was played by kromnik Queen to c2. Yeah, this looks like a logical choice. I'm trying to prepare e4. Okay, I want to play e5, of course. One way of doing this would be queen e8, and then e5 and e4 play e5. E4 is not necessarily a problem, by the way. Sometimes you can just take and then use the F file. However, the E7 pawn is, um, yeah, a bit of a problem. Okay, I go queen E8 and on E4 play E5. Just keep it, keep it simple. Keep it simple is actually a bit of a strange way to put it because it's not a simple position. But um, I think straightforward is the, the better way of calling it. And now he plays d5. Okay. So if I go e5 now, then the move queen e8 probably makes far less sense than queen to c2. Hmm, yeah. That's true. Okay, I wonder if e4, how much of an issue it really is. And also I wonder if I should take or not. Knight a6 also looks perfectly normal. I think I do this. 
The queen on c2 is, I think, a little bit unusual. That is slow. That's a really slow move. So taking, I wonder if I should take actually, just open this up. I think I'll do this. The queen on c2 makes this um, more attractive for a quick bishop d7, rook c8. So what do I do? Knight c5. Knight c5 in order to have knight e4 available. Maybe. I can also start with bishop to d7. That also is a sensible move. Let's start with this. Um, I'm behind on the clock, so I don't want to spend a long time on this decision and then probably it probably leads to the same thing anyway mm, maybe not bishop to e3 maybe so after rook c8 takes a7 <laughs> something like that i don't know Queen on e8 is a really interesting piece. It, it also has this, this scope. It's not just the king side. Sometimes you have h6, g5, and the queen is attacking. That's not the case here. Yeah, knight g4 is kind of the knee-jerk reaction to this. And then I don't know if it's really good though. This knight d4, queen, um, knight g4, bishop d4, knight e5. This is uh, intriguing. It opens up my bishop. Let's do it. I don't want to trade it obviously, but I go here and now I'm threatening to take on f3, take on d4. Rook d1 eh? seems very likely. I don't think that taking is good. Knight takes e5, d takes e5, bishop e3, those two pawns f5 and e5 look um, look fine. Rook d1 is very obvious. Rook f d1, maybe. Mm, yeah, well. Okay, so. Goes back. Mm. Yeah, those traits probably don't do much. Queen d1 is not doesn't look particularly threatening. Interesting, by the way, is if I should decide to take on f3, not a good move, I think, he even has e takes f3 to open up the e file.
Yeah, knight c5 is interesting. But after knight takes e5, I don't want to take with the bishop. I don't want to do that. Rook c8 is most obvious, uh, but there is this a7 pawn really that hangs. Hmm. Yeah. It's not a very human move <laughs> to take a7, but you kind of, this is really something that has changed, I think, a little bit over the years in modern chess. You, those kind of materialistic options, you sometimes take really a lot more seriously because the computer shows that you can get away with many things. <laughs> yeah, I think you can take it. It's nothing particularly, I can go knight c5. This is not terrible for black, but Knight on a6 is my only somewhat problematic piece. Knight to c7 and potentially knight b5 is also an idea. It looks slow, it looks slow. I think I'm doing this. If he takes it knight c5, I mean, I have knight a4 coming and the bishop on a7. Maybe he can take e5 first and then take that on a7. Eh, I don't know. That was not not a very well thought out decision. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if no. I wonder if b4 is an idea. Ah, but rook c3, okay. b4 doesn't work, that's good. b4 is also severely weakening everything, so it's not like a completely obvious great choice, but it's tactically failing due to rook c3. Yeah, yeah bishop takes a7. I mean, white has to take a pawn, I think. If not, if he allows me to play knight c5, that would be a pretty substantial concession. Maybe you can play rook c1 or something. It shouldn't be terrible. Yeah, so, okay, now it's easy for me at least. I know that I'm going to play knight c5, I guess. Knight c5 and b4, there's knight f3 takes, bishop d4, queen takes, knight b3 wins the exchange. So he cannot go just b4. So let's go to c5. Yeah, his choice to put the queen back looked a little bit weird, but wasn't all that terrible, I guess. Mm. 
I have to be on the lookout here. But knight a4 yeah, is an idea, really. Knight a4. If, if he takes that, then rook c1, queen c1, knight f3, and I pick up d4 at the end. Getting a really, really great bishop pair. So knight a4 is something that I might be threatening right now. Not entirely sure. But it's not so easy for White now to make a move. Huh? Not so easy to make a move. Yeah, we'll see what he does. He can try knight takes e5 and change the pawn structure. Yeah? Knight e5, d e5. But, um, I'm, I'm reasonably happy there that that is so active with the pawns on e5 and f5. Hard to believe that this shouldn't be good. Well, currently I'm threatening knight f3, bishop d4, knight b3, winning the exchange. So he cannot play a slowish move, it just doesn't work. Hmm. Now what is he going to play? Yeah, why does that work? Why does that work? He thought about it for a while. Is he sacrificing? No, that cannot. That doesn't work really. So show me. You have to be on the lookout for the odd uh, sacrifice, of course. Um, the black position with f5 is a little bit weakened, and sometimes I think a material uh, sacrifice um, is an idea for white. I don't, I don't see this working. Bishop d4, the immediate, no. So, yeah, but I have bishop takes e5. This is the thing, or pawn takes, actually. Pawn takes is more ambitious. Pawn takes, what I don't quite like is something like d6. Yeah, but that's also good for me, huh? I mean, the bishop, yeah? <clears throat> it's not badly placed on c5. Really not. It looks directly at the king. And currently, there is no no then there are no pieces that would attack my king. Okay, mm, queen b three looks at the pawn. It's not really hanging. Yeah, normal move is this. Huh? Just advancing. I just wonder if it really does help. Moving the b-pawn weakens the square on c6. So like knight e2 to d4, this, these things are possible. Hmm, okay. I can also play bishop b6, that also Make some sense for rook c5. 
Let's do this actually. Not weak in anything. I mean, I have some weak squares anyhow. <laughs> and now like rook c5, queen f7, rook c8, trying to just double up against uh, on the c file. If I trade the heavy pieces, I will win this ending very, very easily. Outside passer plus the bishop pair. So it's more or less over if I can trade down. <clears throat> e4 doesn't work. I can take. So he's moving out of the um out of the diagonal so if i move queen to f7 there is maybe knight a4 mm, yep It's not completely convincing. I mean, I can also play on the king side. I mean, a move like f four is not not terrible. I think I still don't know what it does <laughs> to be honest it it really looks a little bit like yeah it doesn't look like it has a clear purpose so um rook here yeah that was the original idea let's do it Looking forward to play maybe queen to c8 next. Uh, what does he do? Like h4 or something? Maybe e4. Maybe that is what he prepared with king g2. Protect the bishop. That just opens the F file for me. E4, I don't believe in. Yeah, this is uh, probably making some sense. So let's do this. Increase the pressure there. H5, I think G5 is good. Threatening G4 immediately. Winning the bishop. Also, the move f4 now gets more interesting as he does not have the reply g4 available. Okay, so this is covering c1 so that a knight move is on is becoming possible after f4 knight e4 i have the check actually so let's do it so 
something that I could have thought about a little bit more closely, but it looked a bit too tempting. Yeah, I had to do this first, but and now. Open the F file and what's going on here? <clears throat> yeah, it's not not entirely clear, right? not entirely clear I would like to go into the dark squares with the Queen but Queen to c5 you know that that would be good and h5 is is a problem hmm that's ah, not easy Yeah, knight a4, yeah. Bishop f5, knight to a4. Hmm, not so, not, not at all easy, really not. Or maybe I'm not understanding the position that's possible, of course. Hmm. This H5 move, that, that really is irritating. Quite a bit, actually. Um, Bishop G4 maybe, and then for Queen F5. Yeah, I have to move him. Yeah? I'm um, down on time. Yeah, I'm putting up a good defense here. Looks a bit strange to trade those bishops, but didn't really see a really good, good thing for me. At least with possible capture, Queen F5 I'm activating, or Queen F5 just like that, without capturing, putting more pressure on this. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I think I can play Queen F five immediately. Uh, I will have enough compensation after after knight c five. Take first and then Queen F five. Hmm. <sighs> Tough 
Vika form. If he takes g form, I think taking e four doesn't really do much. Even king h three might be on. He's threatening bishop e six then. So takes e, uh, g four. I will take back. Keep the knight knight attacked. And then queen c two. Right? I should be should be better here. Still not a simple win. Bishop takes, queen takes, king up, and then I can take on d5. So if he takes it, takes here, bishop f3 he has to go back. Um, yeah. And taking doesn't help. I can do it. It doesn't really help. <sighs> yeah, well defended. Okay, um, queen c1, check, check, it's not a mate for some reason. <laughs> queen c1 is an, is an idea now. Time, come on, play. Okay, that, that looks tough. Uh, I think I think there is no defense. Yeah, that was actually well defended by by White. Let's have a look there. About uh, have a look at the analysis here and see what happened so what was the opening yeah here e4 looked um, like a thing to go for and probably e5 that was my intention um, the computer li dislikes it one line of the engine and now it goes down somewhat it looks a it looks a bit loose okay so I'm interested a little bit more um, in this middle game a3 it's a bit slow that really is slow so takes takes bishop d7 bishop e3 yep that looks Looks like something that, that can be played. So queen d1 is also, I think, okay. And now here, yeah, I wasn't really sure if he can take a7. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really thought that after knight c5, I should have enough compensation, but the computer is, is doubting that. Actually, the engine thinks this is fine. Yeah, you cannot cut. Sorry, cannot cover this really. Cannot cover this. Uh, rook c8 was probably not great then. H6, um, some kind of waiting, semi waiting move. Yeah. Okay, I mean. Yeah, well, knight c4 is okay then. Yeah, I could play rook c8, but for the wrong reasons. So rook c1, knight c5, and um, yeah, here the the move b4, it just doesn't work. <clears throat> yeah, the engine has stuff like knight d2 and e3, 
e3 is not very obvious with d3 being so weak <coughs> yeah but this is not leading too much knight g5 <coughs> is the engine's idea rerouting what about this is that bad I'm a bit surprised that the computer thinks this is absolutely bad for me. Yeah, it's not well coordinated. Yeah, this is really the problem. Eh? Before is giving up the material and you don't get much in return. Yeah, takes, bishop takes. But you put up a good resistance there. Maybe um, here I can improve already. Queen uh, d8 for b6, yeah, or b5. b5 is most obvious, of course, but I wasn't sure if I want to weaken c6. Maybe this is just uh, not really making any sense. g5, given by the engine. I thought about it, but I kind of... Hmm, yeah, I wasn't sure, really. I thought that rook c5 also makes sense. But the way it turned out, it wasn't all that terrible. f4 was an idea. But, uh, I think this was not bad. Bishop g4, maybe that's not the best, yeah. g4. Yeah, but it seems like I have not screwed it up entirely. Rook c8, not the best, but not a blunder. Yeah, but now we were down to seconds. Yeah, knight g5. Ah, queen c5 I had. I saw this, but he can take. This is just a draw. Here, yeah, you can chase him all over the place. <laughs> there is no draw, there's no win. And, uh, but I had queen c5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why does that work? That's just in comparison. Check, 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 mate. Okay. So bishop f5 wasn't great, but it's a it's a matter of the time. And he was down to five or six seconds now and really um, had a problem there to find a move. Knight e6, queen c1, and now it is definitely over. Queen c1 checkmate, nothing to do against it. Yeah, I think he he played a good uh, defense after the after the mistake. But before um, yeah, before was really neglecting the idea of the last move right, with knight c5 i mean looking at the square and with a3 this is already seriously weakened yeah okay guys thanks for watching